Hollow Knight is full of tiny things like Easter eggs and little minutia that reveal secrets or add to the experience of the game. In this video, I'll be going over some of my personal favorite small details in Hollow Knight. The first category of things has to do with character dialogue. When the knight rescues Breda, she has the same dream nail dialogue before and after they listen to her, shining figure, so bright. It might have been an oversight, but I took it to mean that when she's thinking it before being listened to, it's about the radiance, and afterward, it's about the knight. Another thing, however sad, is how Quirrell mentions when the knight first listens to him that weapons can be acquired from corpses who no longer need them, and when he's seen for the last time at the Blue Lake, he ends up leaving his own nail behind. The second category is about things characters do. I think it's delightful how Quirrell reacts if you splash him in the hot spring in Deep Nest. I also like how the Hollow Knight plays a role in the last phase of the Radiance fight because they're helping the knight as opposed to leaving them behind like in the birthplace memory. Plus, with how much suffering the Radiance caused them in particular, one could see how they'd want to help and her for good. It's interesting how the first two endings involve the knight using focus to take the infection into themselves, which mirrors how they use focus on the dreamers to take their essence into themselves. The third category is about aspects of the soundtrack. I love how the usual three-note melody heard when the knight receives an important item is tuned down slightly when they receive the Void Heart. It fits with the theme of music related to the Void being tuned down, such as the Shades theme and the version of Decisive Battle that plays when fighting the Collector. I think it was a nice touch to have the same melody as the opening cutscene play during the Dream No More ending cutscene. I like the hidden melodies of the White Palace, the one in the nursery, and the one that plays if the knight sits on the Pale King's throne. For the Sealed Vessel track, it's neat how the tension continues to build as each of the Hollow Knight's chains is individually broken. I think it's fitting how the version that appears on the soundtrack album includes the Radiant Scream sound effect around around 2 minutes and 11 seconds because it marks a change in both the boss fight and the music, so the score would feel incomplete without it. One more thing I wanted to mention is one of Grimm's attacks known as Firebats. The character design of Grimm himself is of course heavily inspired by vampires and Count Dracula. Team Cherry have said so. It's no surprise then that we see a bat motif with his attacks. What makes it interesting to me though is the fact that in the real world, many types of bats are predators to many species of bugs. Since the Grimm Troop's power comes from fear and nightmares, it makes sense that there would be a manifestation of something bugs would have plenty of reason to be afraid of. We don't know if bats exist in the world of Hollow Knight, but even if they don't, I suppose bugs could still imagine a creature like a bat hunting them. So what do you think? What are your favorite small details in Hollow Knight that you think enhance the experience of the game? Let me know in the comments! Thank you for watching this video! Make sure you're subscribed and have notifications on to catch all my future videos. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.